This is Video.ai, an AI video editing and clipping software with speaker detection, a virality predictor, auto titles and captions that will turn your podcasts, interviews, and even on-screen rants into short vertical video clips that you can use on shorts, reels, and social media. But is it any good? We're gonna dive into the free version of this tool and we're gonna see how it works. Plus, I'm gonna compare it to Opus Clips and see which one of these performs better at the free version level. I did a whole video on Opus Clips. You can watch that if you want to. Let's get started. I'm Owen Video. Now, to get started, you're gonna wanna go to owenvideo.com slash video and I put a link in the description box below so that you can try it out for free. And immediately you'll come to this homepage here where you can drop a YouTube link or you can upload a file. So I'm gonna go over to my buddy's channel, Austin Armstrong, where I did an interview with him here. Okay, and I'm gonna copy the link address. I'm gonna bring it back into here. Boom, and I'm gonna go get free clips. Okay, and then immediately I am in the software. And as I'm in the software, you know, I can see that on the left-hand side, I've got my menu and I've got 75 credits left or 75 minutes left. So this is the free version is based on 75 minutes. Over here, I can see my different projects. I can upload a brand kit. I can see all of my downloads and I can see all of the drafts that I'm working on right now. And these are the most important parts. So let's dig into the features. Okay, so the first thing that sort of bugs me about this is I already put the link in and it just didn't carry over. So it doesn't seem like the homepage really has any value. You just have to log in and get to the dashboard first. Then I'm gonna click new project. Okay, look, and there it is. Uh, I can see here this is 61 minutes of credits and I am going to generate clips. Okay, once I'm done, I'm back in this process and I'm waiting for this to process. So that's gonna take a few minutes. Let's see um, how long it takes. Okay, great. So the video is done processing. It really only took about 15 minutes. So that it looks like the processing speeds up as you kind of go along. And it looks like we got 24 clips out of this. So I'm gonna click on the three dots here to see what my options are. And I can rename it, I can move it into a different folder, or I can delete it. But let's just click on this now. And immediately I'm in a new dashboard. So as I'm in the screen, I can see three major areas that you should know about. And one I think is exceptional. Number one is you can see that we've got the shorts that it laid out for me over here. And I can see the score that it gave them. This is exactly like Opus. Now, Opus Clips is another AI editor that does almost the exact same thing, but there are some slight differences. I can also see that I can create templates here, but I need to upgrade to use it. So I really like the feature of templates, but I gotta be honest with you, video, if I don't know what those templates can do or the value for me, then I'm not, that, I'm not really that interested in upgrading to, to find out what it means. But let's take a look at this clip, the evolution of YouTube. I'm gonna play, you know, some of it. Let's let's see how it turned out. I was really um, sort of lost in America, trying to find my way. I was sort of an overachiever in high school athlete. Uh, I was an athlete. I was in student body, and I was in uh, the high school drama. I was like leader of all the play. Already, I'm not thrilled with this clip. Like it, it's taking me a long time to get into this. They didn't take out the ums and the os, and so let's take a look at the second one and see if that's any better. So I'll click on this second one here and then let's let's click I on I think, it. you know, all boats sort of rise with the tide. Like I doubt yeah. in short form content, right? It increases that bottom line view. Like I, I've said this a lot, particularly about TikTok, like when people first get started. Already I like this clip a little bit more. So I can come up here and heart this. And that's what you're gonna want to do is you sort of go down the list of these videos and see you know, which ones you like. I'm not in love with the fact that this opened up with ums and ohs. I, I feel like AI software should absolutely fix that. Let's take a look at the editing features down below and see what I can do with this video. So I see the purple edit button and I'll click that in a second, but you can see that I can download this. And I'm guessing when I download this, that'll populate up here in my downloads. 
you can see that I can click on the transcript. But when I click on that, I see very faint amount of text. See if you guys can lean in and see that. And it tells me down at the bottom, I need to upgrade my plan to view my description. Okay, so again, not, not in love with this, this feature. So already video is showing me that really I need to upgrade to take a look at some of the bigger features. So I'm gonna look at the pricing of this software in just a quick second, but first, Let's click on this purple edit button here and see what type of editing features we have in the free version. So immediately I'm opened up into a dashboard where I'm able to edit and I see a couple quick things that I want to bring your attention to. Number one is the captions. Look at this over here is they're giving me a few different styles of captions and this I absolutely love. Let's take a look at my Instagram channel because over there I'm, I'm reaching 435,000 uh, accounts per week and my videos are are going pretty viral you'll see that the style of caption we use we typically use the the yellow and black or the black and white because it stands out and i believe that that's extremely valuable my favorite color is blue so i'm wearing blue a lot and i want colors that contrast that so when i come to video and i can see that they understand how important captions are I really like that. And I like this uh, reddish orange one. And I like this one down here because it stands out from the bluish colors that the software defaults to. Now, I can click on viral, modern, and minimal to get different styles of captions that may fit my needs. And they have a few different styles like cool and bold. And I really like this feature because I don't have to go in there and dial it in myself. Now, over here on the left-hand side, you can see that I have some additional features here like cut magic. And with cut magic, I'm able to change the speaker view so that two people are appearing on the camera at one time. You see, see how this is out of frame a little bit. It allows you to move it back into frame, but you will need to, of course, upgrade to use this feature. You can see that there's a subtitles feature where finally I can use something on the free version. I could come in here and and, and put in an exclamation mark, or I can change the text here. So I think this is extremely necessary. I do have an elements page, which allows me to create a progress bar. I really like this feature. We can see this at the bottom here. Let me just play that. This is the progress bar right here, and it looks like I can change the progress bar color so it stands out a little bit more. I can add logos. Let's see if I can add a logo for free. It looks like I can. So that's really cool. I'm not gonna do that in this video. I wanna keep moving. And it looks like I can add an outro. An outro is gonna be a quick bumper that you can add to the end of your video that allows viewers to see a bigger picture of the brand. Now, an ending bumper is something that we really believe in. And you see a lot of this from Russell Brand, for example. And Russell Brand is sort of a political commentary. He's very, very viral lately. We're gonna look at the end of this video here. So let's just fast forward to the end. There you go, that's what an ending bumper looks like. So I love that video allows you to add your own outro bumper and it looks like they have stock outros here that you can use. You can use something like this and, and it's about three seconds in length or something like this, like and comment. So this is a really great feature and something that I think redeems the free version big time. Now, let's take a look at media. This is another huge feature of the video app that I think it's getting, this is getting better and better. You can add your own stock images, videos, and audio clips to these videos, and you can have them pop up here. You could maybe even put them down here. So, you know, this is starting to get better and better, guys. I'm really starting to like this. I could even probably pull this thing up, and now I've got this great little B-roll image. I could pull this in, and you know, move it on the timeline wherever I want it to go where it's gonna, um, it's gonna just kind of pop up and be there. So I really like this. Let's take a look at what type of video you have here. Okay, the, the video's not popping up. Now I am having a little bit of trouble editing the timeline here on the bottom. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See these images here? I should be able to see these on the timeline here, but I, I don't see them on the timeline. So I think that that might be just a little bit uh, a little bit wonky. So if you wanna delete the images, here's what you need to do. It says B-roll images right here. You can click on that and then you can trash can these and boom, they're, they're right out. But my guess is you're gonna start to see these on the timeline. You might even see it. Let me know if you try this on your computer, if you see it on your timeline. So you can add text here. You can change your background here. 
and you can write an AI description if you upgrade. Now, this is a pretty cool feature because the description is one thing, but over here, you can actually get a preview of what this will look like on the various different platforms. So if you click on TikTok, this is what you'll see on TikTok, and that's pretty cool. On Instagram, you'll see this, and on YouTube, you'll see this. So you might even wanna just jump in here and copy this so that your team has templates that they can use in the future. If you wanna generate a description or use any of the free tools, this is the pricing that you're gonna be looking at. Base plan is gonna be 30 bucks a month. You're gonna pay 349 up front which, you know, ultimately it's not a bad deal if you're gonna play with something. If you're running a company, it might be worth just the 350 to just get your VA on this and start doing rants in front of the camera. That is exactly what I would do. I would get in front of the camera and I would do a whole bunch of rants and I would just create a bunch of, of shorts and see how they perform. It looks like over here you can do a growth plan and you can kind of choose how many minutes of video you want. This is probably based on your podcast size. Uh, if you're doing an hour podcast once a week, that's what 60, 240 minutes. So you can kind of you can kind of pick that as a monthly plan, and and it looks like this is ample. So you know, 500 bucks for the year for 7,200 minutes. I mean, that's not that's not that bad. It's it's a pretty great price, and my guess is it's only going to go up over time. Now we compared video to Opus clips, and here's what we found. We're going to compare them both. Let's put that graphic up on the screen. Opus does this better if you pay for it. Overall, if you're gonna pay for one, we found that Opus had some strong clips. You get more clips generated. You get more types of B-roll AI generated and stock. And I think in this AI community, that's much better. You also have more templates and you can change camera angles. Video has that feature, but it's not as robust and you're using a third-party app to do it. Now, on the free version, Opus only gives you 60 minutes per month instead of 75. So video gets you uh, 15 extra minutes of, of clips. You can't edit clips on the free version of Opus and you can't export clips after three days. This killed us on Opus. We did a ton of clips and then we thought we could just go back to them, but you have to export them as soon as you're done. Now, what does the free version of video do better? It's got an easier editing interface customizable stock B-roll that you can edit. It can search through the whole transcript. You get the TikTok, YouTube, uh, and shorts preview. And it includes the stock backgrounds and the branding kits, which Opus has, but video, I think, just does it in a, in a more um, a direct way. What are some of the downsides of video? Well, with video, you can only upload an MP4 file, an MOV file, or a YouTube link. You can't use Dropbox. You can't use some of the other links. Opus has a more robust feature. And so I would urge you guys to watch the video that's on your screen now, get a sense of Opus and get them both for free. Try them both out. We put the links in the description box if you wanna play with them, but go watch that video now and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more ways to use AI to grow your business, to better your life and to become a better American, damn it. All right, I'm Owen Video. I'll see you guys in the next one.